Lieutenant Josef Kretsch, Gunship Elite First Admiral, RE. Official letter of instatement. It is on my honor that I write to you the story of our people and how we arrived at our involvement in this war for Ka. It has become our mission to defend the Twin Sun Solar System and Alliance-controlled sections of the Andromeda Galaxy. My fellow pilots, the war raging around you is deafeningly obvious. However, this war's beginnings and its implications to our civilizations may not be as apparent. I will attempt to clarify these issues to give you full awareness of the Alliance's situation. Ours is the proud fighter civilization of the Arakan. For centuries, we have policed and defended our home system. In signing the Treaty of the Three Races in 3891, we became part of the Alliance, uniting our forces with the technological innovations of the Dagon and the Ka mining abilities of their Numidian android race. As a result of this treaty, our patrol area tripled and covered the Panthal, Kumit, and Sherpa planetary systems. With this expanse, the defenses of the Alliance desperately needed a wider reach. Our Arakan ancestors courageously answered the call, but our technology of the time did not match our fighting capabilities. In this respect, the Dagon brought much advancement to our civilization. With their highly advanced scientific and academic ideology, they helped us create ship technologies that are still unknown to many civilizations throughout the universe. Our weapons quickly evolved to the point of absolute superiority. We were nearing what seemed to be a position of invulnerability, if it were not for our reliance on Ka. It is not certain who discovered the Ka nor is it well documented as to whom first harnessed its power. However, as you well know, it is the underlying source of power for nearly every mechanical device in our universe. Without Ka, I shudder to think of the broad-reaching repercussions, but I can assure you that our cultures would meet their demise. It is for this reason that the Alliance needed a more efficient way of extracting Ka from the cold outer regions of the Panthal and the Kumit planetary systems. Their answer? the Numidians. With the deployment of their android creations, the Numidians, the Dagon civilization obtained the most efficient means of acquiring Ka. The ability of the Numidians to thrive in the harsh conditions of the Panthal and Kumit planets, coupled with their undying dedication to the task of mining this resource, made them the perfect Ka mining tools. With the help of the Dagon and the Numidians, the Alliance became the most powerful force in the Andromeda galaxy. Once fully united, it became solely responsible for the safety of our civilizations and preservation of the limited resource of Ka. This remains to be the case. Defending the Ka resources was the first priority mandated by the Grand Council, a group that was elected in 3891 to uphold the treaty of our three races. At first, there was very little threat to our societies aside from petty theft and embezzlement. Soon after its unification, however, the Alliance would receive its first and what would eventually become its most deadly threat. The Sektar wanted control of all Ka reserves. Once a premier sect of Arakan traders, 
The sector strayed from the alliance and the law by occasionally trading with known criminal races. While the exact date of their transformation into treachery is unclear, one definite catalyst was their exclusion from the alliance a few years prior to its formal creation. Once the alliance officially formed and fully united, the sector experienced a similar organization. Fueled by bitterness and greed, they began forging documents to acquire and stock Ka for their own purposes. Once they grew in power and number, they proceeded to steal Arakan ships and Ka-laden Numidian transport ships. It took only a few confirmed missing ship reports before our Grand Council voted on a resolution, which was to exclude the Sektar forever from joining the coalition. After several failed attempts to invade Alliance territory, the Sektar must have realized they needed to increase their size and abilities to become a serious threat. To overcome these inadequacies, the Sektar joined forces with the Morgoths, a race of mysterious and bloodthirsty warriors known for their violent terrorizing tactics throughout the galaxy. With the added power and number of the Morgoths, the Sektar became and remains an extremely formidable enemy of the Alliance. Through many years of battle, the Alliance managed to maintain control of the Ka reserves. Unfortunately, the tides have recently turned in favor of the Sektar and their ill-intentioned brood. We have become outnumbered and outgunned in many sectors of our galaxies. We're running out of time and options. That is why you have been called to join the Gunship Elite without full completion of your training. You will soon deploy on a series of missions that ultimately decides the fate of each race in the Alliance. The Grand Council has full confidence in your abilities. Remember, you fight for the future of our cultures and the heritage of your Arakan warrior ancestry. Good luck, young fighters. You're gonna need it.